everyone, my name is Sophia and I come from Spain. Today I'm here to tell you the story of the three little pigs. It's an English story but it is so famous in Spain. I will also be teaching you some Spanish words. So, the three little pigs. Once upon a time, there was an old mother pig who had three little pigs. Pigs is perdito in Spanish. But she didn't have enough food, enough food to feed them. So when they were old enough, she sent them into the world to seek their fortune. The first little perdito was very lazy. He didn't want to work. And he built his house out of a straw. The second little cerdito worked a little bit harder, but he was somewhat lazy. And he built his house. House is casa. He built his casa out of sticks. Then they sang and danced and played together for the rest of the day. The third pig worked hard all day and he built his house with rocks. It was a, it was a sturdy house complete with a fine fireplace and a chimney. It looked like it could wipe down the strongest wind. The next day, a wolf, a lobo, happened to pass by the line where the three pigs lived, and he saw the straw house, and he smelled the pig inside. He thought the cerdito, the pig, would make a mighty fine meal, and his mouth began to water. So he knocked on the door and he said, Little pig, little pig, let me in, let me in. But the little pig saw the wolf's big paw through the keyhole and he answered back, No, 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 not by the hairs of my chin, chin, chin. Then the wolf showed his teeth and he said, Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The wolf, the wolf opened his jaw and very wide and beat down as hard as he could. But the first pig escaped and ran away to hide with the second servito. The wolf, the lobo, continued down the lane and he passed by the second house made out of sticks. And he saw the house and he smelled the pig inside and his mouth began to water as he thought about the fine dinner they would make. So he knocked on the door and said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the little pigs saw the walls pointy in the ear the keyhole so they answered back no 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 not by the third of <laughs> not by the third on our teeny chin chin so the wolf showed his teeth and he said ah, then i will have and i will puff and i will blow your house down so he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down the wolf was greedy and he tried to catch both cerditos at once, but he was too greedy and got neither. His big jaws clamped down on nothing but hair, and the two little pigs scrambled away as fast as their little hooves would carry them. The wolf, the lobo, chased them down the lane and he almost caught them. But they made it to the brick house. 
and slammed the door closed before the wolves could catch them. The three little cerritos were very frightened. They knew the wolves wanted to eat them. The lobo wanted to comérselos. And that was very, very true. The wolf hadn't eaten all day, and he had worked up a large appetite chasing the pigs around, and now he could smell all three of them inside. And he knew that the three little pigs would make a lovely, lovely feast. So the wolf knocked on the door, and he said, Little pigs, little pigs, let me in, let me in. But the little pigs saw the wolf now arrive to the keyhole, so they answered back, No, 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 not by the fur of our chin, chin, chin. So the wolf showed his teeth and said, Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. When he huffed and he puffed, he huffed, he puffed and he huffed. He puffed and huffed and puffed, but he could not blow the house down. At least he was so out of breath that he couldn't huff and he couldn't puff anymore. So he stopped to rest and thought about about it. But this was much. The wolf danced about with rage and swore he would come down the chimney and eat up the little pigs for supper. While he was climbing onto the roof, the little pigs made up a blazing fire and put on a big food, a big pot full of water to boil. Then, just as the wolf was coming down the chimney, the little piggy pulled off the lid and plop! <coughs> he fell in fell the wolf in this scalding water. So the little pig put on the cover again, boiled the wolf up, and the three little cerditos ate him for supper, for dinner. The cena. This is my little friend Charlie Owens. She comes from Idaho. She's visiting the beautiful Missoula with her family and we are just so happy to be here, right? So my name is Lucia. I come from the south of Spain. I live in a beautiful, beautiful city that is by the beach. Have you ever seen the beach? Oh! I'm studying translation, which means that I put a story like the three little pigs that is in English and I put it in Spanish so all the kids can understand. In my free time, I love being outdoors and that's why I choose this university because everyone is always at the park doing things and playing and I love that so much. In my house, I also play a lot of water sports. I love surf, and windsurf, and paddle surf, and playing with the sand. So I see you got a big family. How many sisters and brothers do you have? Oh, one sister, two uh -huh. sisters, and one brother. Oh, I have two two sisters and three brothers. Oh. We are a lot of people in my family. And the older one is 40, and the youngest one is 13. So, have a lot of variety. <laughs> uh, we love doing things together and cooking together for everyone. My favorite dish is Spanish tortilla. And what's your favorite one? My mom. <laughs> your mom. What is the main dish with your mom? Does uh, she cook? Beth. 
Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> you like tortillas too, Charlie. Oh, you like tortillas. <laughs> um, I love traveling. I've been in Europe, in Asia, and now I'm here in the United States. And I would say this is my favorite state because everyone is so nice and so friendly and I've never seen so many dogs, which I love. <laughs> and you got so much snow in the winters. I also love skiing. I love skiing too. Oh, really? Yeah. Where do you go skiing? Um, Schweitzer. Wow, that's so cool. I went to Lookout so many times and I love it so much. There's a dog right there. Oh, there's, everyone has a dog here. Yeah. I'm so. And I have a cat named Buzzy and it's white. Oh, that's so cool. I also have so many cats. I have four cats. Oh. And I only have one cat. You want more? Or one is okay? One is okay. So, Spain is so different because we we have sunny days all time. I only see the rain maybe two or three weeks a year. So, we can go to the beach every day, even in December. And it's a tradition to have a swim the first day of the year. Also, we have so many different food because Spain is a really varied place. We also speak different languages in the same country. It's not like here that you all speak English. And we love being outdoors. I think it's because of the weather that we are we are outdoors all time. And that's the reason why we don't have big houses. We live in tiny, tiny houses because we love spending as much time outside as we can. We also have so many beautiful mountains but with no snow. Snow is not normal in Spain. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to me and for showing interest in my country.